Welcome and herzlich willkommen to Photomove, my tiny but very delicate magazine about everything, especially culture. Today, with this, today, this, uh, today with a very, very, very special guest and friend of mine. Welcome, Mr. Ori Atana. <laughs> And there he is. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Ori. Thank you to be here. For all those uh, who didn't know or don't know who you are, <laughs> maybe you can introduce yourself. You are, and, and that's what I want to say, you are founder or co-founder of a special society yes. uh, about... Uh, European culture, is that right? Yeah, that is right, among many other things. Um, so, hello there, uh, this is Ori. Uh, I actually am in the teaching business. That is, I work at the University of Duisburg-Essen in the German Studies Department okay. as an assistant. And then I teach English, and I used to teach German to refugees mm -hmm. two years ago. And I know you are a shy person, but you can speak a little bit louder. I hope so. All right. Because uh, there's just one microphone and... Uh, I hope this is loud enough. But go on. Speak up. All right. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm in the teaching business. I work at the University of duisburg -Essen. I teach English to private students and to my courses. Um, I do quite a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I'm a social democrat, just like you. Co-founder of Oberhausen Works, uh, secretary of POM, that is Partnerschaft Oberhausen Middlesbrough. Okay. The, the town twinning organization. Um, founder of Racing Sports, which is a story of its own. Yeah, I okay, racing. I think so. Yeah. I love politics. I love But racing. racing is a form of culture too. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. But let, let's talk about the other culture, the, the, the European, culture, culture, more, more yeah. culture, culture. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you do like, <clears throat> you, you said it and, and you are from in, in different organizations, yes. but, but the main topic is uh, cultural exchange, European exchange, or is it wrong? Um, that is, if you want, the second level. The first level is actually something very very serious that is um political. do you think culture isn't serious well it is of course <laughs> as serious as it gets okay but the origin okay. of, of uh, what we do is politics peace politics yeah so that's how it all started okay and later it became this cultural exchange with well, sports and students and schools and what have you yeah but first and foremost town twinning or sister cities as you mm -hmm. call it in america is political stuff Yeah, simply because after World War II, it's a, it's, it's a base. It's it's yes. a, po a political question you answer by yourself, and you say yeah. I have to do more for peace politics or absolutely yes, exactly, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Um, and the reason why I do it is actually culture. Yeah, because I was in 2014. Mm -hmm. I was working at the Schloss Oberhausen. Yeah. And I was asked... You've heard about it. It's a nice place in our hometown. Go, go see it. It's <laughs> worthwhile. Okay. And I was asked to do the translating and uh, interpreting for okay. the 40th anniversary of POM, of the mm -hmm. town 20 between Oberhausen and Middlesbrough. Mm -hmm. and But I think you have to explain it a bit more. Yes. Uh, uh, POM town twinning. Middlesbrough is uh, um, all, um, uh, uh, a city in um, north uh, east, east England, England. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's uh, similar to, to Oberhausen, a workers' Very class much. town, um, Very much so. which which had a steel crisis to oh yeah, uh, uh, all power plants uh, uh, closed down and yes, okay. There there is a partnership between these uh, both both towns here. Yeah. Yes, all the way since 1952. 52, really? Yeah. So wow. after, yeah. After, I didn't know that. That's oh, interesting. You, you better know it. Uh, after World War II, yeah. uh, the idea was to bring together the youth. Yeah, the European youth. You know, yeah. Idea being uh, people who are friends don't okay. go to war with each other. They yeah. don't hate each other. 
Yeah. And uh, so they said, Germans, bring over some students. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, um, we sent over, among others, Miss Helga uh, Zanda, or Zandas. And she, who was still an active member of POM, dates back to 1952, the first wow. ever visit. Wow, wow, okay. It is such a beautiful story. Okay. Um, and so from this political background mm -hmm. became the culture, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we had collaboration in sports, swimming, uh, cycling, you name it. Mm -hmm. Collaboration uh, in economy. You yeah. want to say something? No. And of course... Uh, I just said yes because it's good to say uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this, this, you know, very dark time <coughs> of careful politics mm -hmm. became this beautiful cultural heritage, ABBA. Mm -hmm. And here we are, you know. Okay. You, you said uh, that you are a social democrat. Um, but as I see your work, it's not... Uh, uh, not just for social democrats. You you work with with all parties and yes. uh, with all democratic parties uh, around, and I think that's very important. It is. It yeah. Is. Yeah. Um, obviously, POM goes back to labor and social democrats. Mm -hmm. But as a town twinning organization, you have to include everyone. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. You know. Maybe they become uh, conservative. Maybe we vote CDU, yeah. and things have to go on. Okay. You know, yeah, you have to keep it constructive. But but away f from POM, you are co-founder of Oberhausen Works. Yes. Tell me more about that. Well, uh, in POM, I met Heidi Scholz Emma, who I sent some greetings to. And eventually, we noticed, yeah, we you know revived POM. POM had gotten very old. You know, some people have died because they were too old, and we tried to bring in young people. Mm -hmm. We did that. Mm -hmm. You were with us in England mm -hmm. with a bunch of young people for it the first was time. The last time, sure was. I felt young again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and so we said, "This is great." You know, we did so much. We actually, I think, we are one of the very few town twinning clubs in mm -hmm. North Rhine-Westphalia who managed to rejuvenate themselves. Mm -hmm. But we said we can do more. Yes, I think so. And I want to that point, you know, uh, because that's all history of your societies. Yes. Uh, but I, I'd like to take more a look into the future. Oh yeah. And what you are doing now, and it's more than town <clears throat> twinning. A lot more. Uh, yes. Yeah, and and that's I'm interested in. Well, um, we want to create a network of towns, cities. Yeah. Um, who, in a sense, will will take over what the big politics cannot or will not do, we want to do, mm -hmm. you know. And the best way to go... On a very human level. Yes. Okay. So the personal contact is what matters. Yeah. Um, if I have to cough, is that bad? No. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> He's, so He's so polite. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we want to say, look, you have, for example, uh, the Brexit. We don't know what will happen afterwards, but we have schools in Oberhausen who need English partners. So we look at Galway. Um, that's one thing. Yeah. The other thing is Oberhausen has so much potential, whether it is... But don't forget, nobody knows about Galway and the whole story. Right, right. Okay. You have to explain it a bit. Um, okay. So we said we want more Anglophone partners. Okay. Why Anglophone? Because it is still... Because like, you speak English. Be, yeah, because we're... <laughs> to be honest. Yes, yes of course. <laughs> yeah. Heidi and me are both very Anglophone. Okay, okay. Um, we like English as a language. We like yeah. English culture, but yeah. also Irish culture. Yeah. And sure enough, we traveled to Galway last year. And with the very first meeting with the mayor, got the okay to become friends, which is awesome. Okay. We never expected that, ever. Okay. Um, and of course, the schools say, look... We support Obars and Works, that's great, but we need, you know, our students want to learn English. Mm -hmm. um, and with the Brexit, we don't know what will happen, so we look at Ireland, who are very much pro-EU. Okay. Naturally. Okay. That's one thing. But then Obars and Works, as the name says, uh, means Obars and Works as in it functions, mm -hmm. 
uh, it means the Oberhausen factory um, and two other meanings which I forgot now mm -hmm. um, our or at least my plan is to do everything within our possibilities that improves Oberhausen that can be uh, town twinning Mm -hmm. It can be cultural events like the Hakawati. The, the what? The, the, the Hakawati. 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 What the heck is Hakawati? Hakawati is a project of Heidi where, <laughs> okay. where she collects uh, Syrian stories uh, of, by Syrian refugees and reads them to both Syrian and other uh, or German uh, public. Okay. And the audience, you know, was very, very impressed. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah. But I, I, I have a question. You you talk a lot about Oberhausen and and that's yes. our hometown and that that's okay. But in, in my feeling, what you what you talk about is more about Europe. It's it's not about our hometown. It's uh, our hometown is, is just a starting point. Sure. Uh, yes. the, the, the the center of the network maybe yes. uh, because you live here. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but but you have plans to to, to spin. Uh, um, uh, not spin, spin heißt nicht spin, 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 Fäden spinnen, wollte ich sagen, und yeah. sagt spin, that's funny, uh, for all Germans now. Um, this, you want to build a European network. Absolutely. So, yes. uh, and um, you have uh, roots in on, on the Balkan? Yes, I am okay. originally from Kosovo, Yeah. Uh, the west of Kosovo. From a village called Strelz. Strelz? Yes! Mm. Um, which is part of Dechan. I don't repeat it. Yet. Which may, <laughs> you might have seen yeah. because it has a world famous uh, monastery. Okay. Uh, it used to be Catholic and then turned Orthodox. Ah, this is one built in, in, a, uh, in a hill? Yeah, yeah, okay. very much so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's where I'm from. And that's where I spent 11 years of my life. Okay. And then came the war. Yeah. And then we fled to here. You s said uh, um, before the show, you s said me that you had four citizenships in your life. I have my fifth now. Yes. Uh, your fifth now. Yes. So when I was born, it was the uh, Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, which became Serbia and Montenegro. Yeah. Which became Serbia which became Kosovo and eventually in 2011 I became German. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a lot of passports. Yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> okay. I think that's that's an interesting topic we can <clears throat> talk about in another show. We should. Uh, be, because the Balkan is very interesting. Cultural, yes, very absolutely. interesting. Absolutely. Uh, and, and still interesting uh, uh, to, to know which part of the Balkan is which part and who belongs to what and yes. what's going on yes. there. Exactly. There. It, it's a serious topic on one end, but, uh, uh, but I think we can talk about it yeah. later. Um, later, Not yeah. now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Not that's, now. That's heavy stuff. Yeah. Now we work for the European Union. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, that's what we do. We, we want to connect the European Union, the uh, national level, the, f the federal level, and obviously city level to create this network of cities. Mm -hmm. We already have Middlesbrough. We get middle. Um, we get Galway. We have Saporitia. We're getting Peya from my former home country, mm -hmm. and uh, we have Carbonia and Iglesias. We're getting one in Poland. Okay. And things are happening, you know. Yeah. Um, and all on a human level, you know personally people who are living there, or is it just uh, just a wish for the future? Well, it is mixed. I think it's half-half. Okay. So, say, Saparicia and uh, Pea is now on the personal level. Yeah. Whereas uh, Poland... Galway is on a personal level, too? Yes, yes. Naturally. Mid Middlesbrough, naturally, yeah. It's a bit mixed. Okay. But you also have uh, places like uh, Poland or Carbonia Glazes. I think they are on the official level. Okay. So, you have mayor talking to mayor, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how things go there. But, you know... I don't care if it's official or personal, as long as it works. 
Is, is it a question of uh, our generation? Because my, my feelings are that, that the younger ones, and I think you are one of the younger ones, uh, let's say the generation between 20 and 35 or something, right. um, uh, is for them it's much easier to cooperate. Uh, and, maybe, and maybe for the real old generation who better knows uh, how terrible war was, uh, it's, yes. it's easier too. Yes. Uh, I have the strange feeling that my generation, between 35 and 60 or something, uh, has the biggest problems with working together on a European level. Really? Or is it just my feeling? I feel like your generation um, is the blame for my generation. Ah, oh, good to hear, but I don't think so. Um, because I feel like my generation is not really as vigilant as they should be. I find your generation still has this, you know, idea that yes, this is important. You know, we need yeah. this. My generation is lazy. Is lazy because, because you know they grew up in this bubble of a perfect world. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. So they use you, the internet and say click, 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 say yeah. hello, that's, yeah. that's, that's international enough. Exactly. Uh, we don't have to meet each other in person. Exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah. You know? And that is very dangerous because they are not aware of how, how important it is. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my generation is more open to extreme uh, or extremist opinions than yours. You really think so? I, I do, yes. But when I look to the AfD as an example, uh, it's a it's a right new right winged populist whatever yes. uh, party in Germany. Maybe you've heard about it. Um, I think the 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 main generation there is more my generation, about fifty. Well, and, and they're not. Uh, are you fifty? Filled with. Uh, 49. <laughs> <laughs> and I will stay 49 for the next 20, 20 good, years. Good. Um, look, the AFD, I think, is a lot of bitter, old, white, male people. Okay. But they, um, yeah, they have their 10 or 15 or 20 percent. Um, but what they say and believe, I think, finds more resonance within, of course, the younger people who are easier to manipulate than you your generation. So? Yes. Okay, that would be horrible. To me, the AFD, I see it as a really old people, like 60 and more, yeah. or 20 to 30. I don't know the, the numbers, but that's what I would guess. I don't know the numbers. Two, well, maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. you are right. And, and don't, don't forget, they don't start as a... Uh, uh, um, a party that is uh, in, in, in the first class against uh, refugees. They start as a European yes. critics uh, party. Yes. Uh, they don't want Europe in a way we want it. Uh, that's that's. Uh, sometimes we forget this, but oh, that's yeah. really oh, yeah. important. Yeah. yeah they, that, they, that's their their core of their politics. It used to be. Yeah. I mean, they started with Bernd Lucke, who was very moderate. Then came uh, ah, a mo moderate, uh, yeah, okay. Compared to now, compared to now, yes. yes um, yeah. Then came Petri, who was edgy, yeah. And now you have borderline fascists, you know. The borderline fascists, yeah. <laughs> Almost full course fat, you know. You have, uh, say, Gauland, who is somewhat sane, mm -hmm. and you have Höcke, who is, you know, bonkers. Höcke is bonkers, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so. the, I think the party inside have to decide what they want. Yes. I, I can live, I personally can live with a very conservative party. Sure. That's no problem. We are, have a democracy and Absolutely. that's no problem for me. So, Same like, like the old CSU in, in, in Bayern, yeah. uh, Bavaria yeah. as, as an example, or, or maybe a little more right-winged. That's, that's a spectrum that's for me completely, really completely okay. But th there is one step too far and I think there are too many people who go right this step yes that, that's a problem for, that for me it is yeah um but i think since a few months now they are in the process of cleaning themselves i think they cut ropes with a youth organization they were too radical they have kicked out some people <laughs> i'm not justifying afd i you know yeah yeah, yeah i'm yeah, yeah, rather yeah, left 
But, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, I, I I think it it is a testimony of how strong the German democratic culture is. Yeah, that's good. You know? it, it, it's not a test. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a test for democracy. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. In and all of you. I think it it works. It's a hard way. Oh yeah. But I think it works. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does. But, but we're talking politics now. By the way, yeah, 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 yeah. Back back to culture <laughs> and humanity. Yeah. Uh, you are uh, in person. You are a European citizen. Oh yes. Yeah, I am. Uh, but let me ask the, the question. Maybe this is racist. What I want to ask. No. But where are your 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 core core feelings? Are you feeling as a European, as a German, as a Uh, is still as, as a Yugoslavian, uh, what what's your, I think, your home? There, there is, is, uh, the, the German word for home is Heimat. You can't yes. translate it. Uh, it's homeland. Not, yeah, but it's more homeland mixed with feelings. Yes. Homeland is just a place. Yes. Or home is just a place where you live. Right. Uh, but Heimat in Germany is, uh, it, it's a kind of feeling for for mm. for a home place you don't yes. have to live there but you feel i'm home yes. at a special place where is your home your german heimat i can tell you um well my german heimat is oberhausen <laughs> you know that's why i love this place <laughs> <coughs> but my uh, homeland is um a society which is progressive liberal constructive yeah so I, I don't feel belonging to a certain ethnicity, you know, I may be ethnically, I'm an Albanian, mm -hmm. um, but mentally, not so much, you know, I probably am far more liberal than the average Balkanese uh, person. Okay. Um, I, f I simply see life in many ways, the, w the way Germans do. Um, I like the German attitudes mm -hmm. and I, I'm gonna be racist myself maybe I like to be on time I like things to function um, <laughs> I like to you know get and, things done and that way I'm not a German <laughs> this, this is gonna be very very <laughs> stereotype alarm yeah. stereotype alarm <laughs> I, you know so be it but yeah that's, that's the way I see things yeah th th then your plan is to build your own home for your Heimat Yes, uh, <laughs> very much so. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. See, um, and again, this is something very, very polarizing to say, but the the first five years of Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. I was a kid, but I, I I have a very good memory of that. Mm -hmm. um, it was things were getting very bad, but still you had this civilization. You know, mm -hmm. you had a proper functioning state, mm -hmm. more or less. Uh, people were doing not that bad. And there was a certain harmony. And that's what I want to, you know, see again. Just like when I came here, I, you know, when I saw the Halpano for the first time, I thought, my God, this is a higher civilization. I was so impressed to see the Bahnhof and the Centro, you know. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I was, I always mm -hmm. felt like I'm going to go to the West. Okay, yeah. And then I was here and it was just like in the TV, you know. Yeah. So big and beautiful and awesome and, you know. Uh, and over time, you know, I saw the decline of the Marktstrasse. I saw people getting more, you know, extreme in their political views. And I know where this ends. So I do my part. And this is the real cause of Obras and Works to prevent that. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, it's, it's very important for all these topics you said, that we, and it, it maybe it sounds... Uh, uh, Not, not big enough or, or, or trivial, mm. uh, but we need more positive vibes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we, we, we have to, to recognize the positive things that we are surrounded. Absolutely. Uh, uh, and, and not just uh, focus on, on the bad sides. That's yes. what I can't uh, uh, um, understand that so many people today Uh, of, of all political colors. That's not yes. the question. Yes. Um, that we are all focused on the negative sides of life. Uh, and that's so destructive. It is. It's so destructive. It is. Yeah. 
and 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 there to find a way out of this uh, uh, dead end uh, turn around and say no we don't go to this wall we we open our minds uh, and go outside and see the positive things that's exactly. so important i think yeah. exactly and what you just described i had to learn myself yeah you know <laughs> i'm Me too. i'm going to be very honest here yeah um I too felt like, you know what, uh, out there it's not so great. I will see that I find a good life somewhere. Online I was, you know, doing well. I had this great community, international, which I was very proud of. 500 mm -hmm. people, you know, from all, all continents. That sounds good, yeah. But then I said, you know what, um, I'm not really active in the physical world. You mm -hmm. know? I have my, my work and all that, but I don't really do something. Yeah. And if I can make things happen, with people I had never met, I can make things happen locally, mm -hmm. you know, and, but shifting the attitude, that is something which is, everyone has to find his own way, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why I, you know, founded the share day idea, because I said, Oberhausen is great, this whole region is great, the Wurgebiet, but we need some, you know, good news and good vibes, mm -hmm. and what better than say on Christmas to just, you know, give things away. Yeah. And sure enough, people were like, who are you? What do you want? Why do you do this? And we said, look, we just do this for the heck of it, you know, to do something good. We don't want your money. Yeah. We don't want your data. We just give something. Yes. We're just giving you something. Yeah. And we are feeling good because you <laughs> felt good. Exactly. That's exactly. easy. You know. That's easy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it's a gift of giving. Exactly. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. Wow. Um, let's yeah. because this topic is so big. Oh yeah. Uh, let's concentrate in, in, in the second part a bit more on the cultural aspect of on the aspect what we can practically do, not just in Oberhausen. That Oberhausen is the starting point, just naturally for you, especially. Uh, but what what can we do in future and and which uh, we 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 talk so much about politics now. Uh, let's talk. Especially about cultural ex ex experience, um, what 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 is possible on that level? Everything. 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 From from holidays to eat together. Yes. Um, visiting each other. Uh, well, first of all, um, this hopefully is the start of uh, my YouTube channel. On your YouTube channel. ding a ling a ling a ling Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to do this since five years now. To do a blog, to do a YouTube channel. I never had the time or motivation or both. And here I am, finally. That's one thing. The other is, if you want culture, you must go to the culture. Okay, so we will travel to Galway, to Peya, and meet people and greet people and say, you know, what do you do? This is what we do. Um, Oberhausen has one of the best theaters in the region. Same goes for Galway. We have the short uh, movie uh, festival. Mm -hmm. So does Galway. You know, Peya is oozing culture. In fact, one of the Balkanese core regions of culture is Peya. Okay. Be it music, theater, um, poetry. Uh, I think. Pia at one point was the most important church, Orthodox church, in all of the Balkans. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's it's full of it. We just have to, you know, present it to the world and say, look, what's there? You know, now Pandora's box is open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said it, you will found an own YouTube channel. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's very hard work, but congratulations. Probably. And I really would like to work together on several levels. Maybe not so serious stuff we did today. Uh, maybe we more can serious. Even more serious. <laughs> uh, and some f maybe some fun stuff. You want to Absolutely. you want to spread happiness into the world. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe we can do some food taste or some something on a, on a on a nice nice and cozy level too. We will. Absolutely. Uh, from the Balkans, I can tell you there is some 
I would say world class food. You know, world class food. You you got me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Whether yeah. it is homemade or or industrial, to me it is world class. Okay. And anyone who travels there is impressed with the nature and the food. It's just the way it is. You okay, know. then. And the Balkans impress me. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if the Balkans is not at war, you know, it has a lot of culture and and all that you know, you want to see. So, yeah, I think we want to do some some try out some food, mm -hmm. homemade, and and uh, homemade. Yeah, you can cook. No, not me. <laughs> oh come on! But uh, I can. I have people to do that. For. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Maybe we start with some processed food. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's easier for your mum, I think. Or Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, if she wants, <laughs> I don't want to stop her. Um, there actually are also restaurants. Yeah. So you have the Croatian restaurant here, which is the restaurant international. Yeah. Finest Croatian food. I mean, it is that good. Um, and you have nearby in Mulheim, there's the Kosovo Grill. Yeah. They do some good stuff. Okay. Um, but if you want processed food, I would go to Podravka, which is, I think, Croatian. Yeah. I grew up with that. Yeah. The soup, the goulash, you name it, it's great. I think Fantastic. that's we will start with. Yes. You bring this goulash things, Vegeta, whatever. You know? Vig I, I know Vegeta. We, uh, we legendary. To, uh, legendary. Legendary Vegeta. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And forward. Uh, then let's do a show about uh, Balkan food. Of course. Uh, and th there's, I think there's enough time to, to talk about other things too. Like racing. Like racing, R racing is yeah. another topic. Yeah. Now let's let's focus <laughs> on cultural <laughs> things. Now, you have you have your own channel now, and you uh -huh. can do there whatever you want. And I will. Uh, and uh, yeah, wow! It was a, a hot ride. It was. <laughs> it was a hot Are we ride. Are out of time? Uh, yeah. I, really? I think, yeah. This yeah. was half an hour. This was. Uh, I don't where, know where did I see exactly, that? but. Uh, I th I think uh, it, it's a good appetizer for the future. I hope it it is. And uh, it better be. Yeah, we will meet again. We will. Thank thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Uh, and uh, I think we I see you soon again. Same here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> see you sooner than later. Have a good one and take care. That's good. Yeah. M maybe that's all. I don't know, is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's practicing. It's it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I I just say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>